Hello, Miss Kim. Hello, Junior teacher. How are you today? I'm good today. How about you? Yeah, I'm quite good. I uh, I got to sleep. I got to take a nap, a little nap before our class, so I'm feeling quite fine today. How about your IC? The ID or IC, we call it. Oh, the ID. Yeah, the ID. I got it back. <laughs> okay, congrats. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the, uh, the local government staff called my parents Um, on what day? On Saturday, yeah, on Saturday. Like uh, on, on, on Friday, I told you that uh, they lost it, right? Okay. And on Saturday, they phoned back and they were like, oh, we found your uh, ID card. Please come and get it. And I was <laughs> like, oh, my God, that was so safe. Yeah. Okay, like, good. yeah thank god they found it or, or else i'm going to be very very upset <laughs> right okay so i just talked to yeah i just uh, talked to the staff from pantado and they agreed that we can study five days uh in in a week now i guess that that will make the lessons faster okay. right so last time we finished gadget right we finished the lesson gadget uh, have you seen the score uh, of the test I sent in the group chat? Oh, did, did you send something? I, I... Yeah, I think you I think you were busy. You didn't read all the text in the group. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was I, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. What it's okay. I, I updated some uh, something in our group chat only. Uh, is that uh, your uh, your videos and your, uh, your test result? Yeah, you oh, got it. I... I don't yeah. think that's important for me, so I don't. I didn't think that's important. <laughs> you broke my heart. <laughs> oh, why? Okay. I I said I just want to learn something. Uh, now so you, you didn't care, care like you didn't care about the test, right? I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Right? You didn't care about the test. Well, uh, that is some. Uh, how they say you're very confident. You're very confident. <laughs> I see. And yeah, the test results so showed that you were very confident. You got a, a very high score. Oh, right. Thank you. Right. So today we will be learning day 29 opinions. Um the well, we still have we still have one more lesson before we get a test. So after after tomorrow, after tomorrow, uh we can do the test on Wednesday if you want. Okay, did you get uh, but there is a review test, uh, I mean, review lesson before on Wednesday. So do you want to uh, study the review and then do the test on uh, Thursday? Or do you want to do the test on uh, Wednesday? I think the test on Wednesday is good. <laughs> okay, you want to finish as soon as possible. Okay. I yeah. I agree. Okay, so I will send you the review file before. Uh, yeah, okay. And then you can do the review at home. Okay, thank you, teacher. Right, Miss Kim, today yeah. we will be learning about day 29, opinion. So in this lesson, you learn a lot of phrases that you can use to give your own op opinion, right? Okay, so that is the objective of today. And after today's lesson, you can uh, show your, share, me, share with me your opinions about different, different issues. Right, here are some uh, common phrases. Here are some common phrases you can use to express your opinion. Right. The first one, very, very popular. In my opinion. Right. Cái này rất hay xài luôn. In my opinion. Right. Next, the way I see it. The way I see it. Right. Have you seen this before? Mm, not really. Right. The way I see it is like, uh, uh, theo như tôi thấy thì... Right, mm -hmm. can you do you want to write it down or it's okay? And yeah, it's okay. I, I, I think I will get this from the PDF you uh, sent. To. Okay, okay, right. Okay, so this is the way I see it. Là theo như tôi thấy thì. Right, yeah. next phrase. If you want my honest opinion. Nếu như mà chị muốn có ý kiến thật lòng từ em thì nếu như bạn muốn ý kiến thật lòng từ tôi thì. Right. According to, you also use this a lot, according to, là theo như. But remember, you cannot use according uh, to, uh, to a company with your own idea or your own comment. Mình không thể sử dụng according to đi với ý kiến cá nhân được, mà phải mm. according to là những ý kiến đã được ghi nhận từ trước đó của người khác. Mm. Okay. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, 
This is very advanced language for you here. Đây là một cái cụm rất là uh, rất là có nhận hơi nâng cao một chút xíu là as far as I concerned, this can be used in both spoken and written language. Right. I think I write yeah, this one. Yeah, <laughs> you you write down them all. Yeah, you just need to write uh, the the phrases that you are not familiar with. Mình nên chỉ viết những cái mà mình không quen thuộc thôi chị ơi. Yep. Right. As far as I'm concerned, theo như tôi được biết thì theo như tôi được biết thì but if you ask me nếu bạn hỏi ý kiến tôi thì ok. Mm. Right. We good? Yep. Right. Uh, you just learned how to give your own opinion and now you need to ask for the other's opinion as well. Mm. Mình phải, mình đã uh, chia sẻ ý kiến của mình rồi thì bây giờ mình cũng phải uh, hỏi ý kiến của người khác nữa. Mm. Right. Có những câu hỏi ý kiến như sau. What's your idea or what's your comment on this? Không, em có thể nói là what's your, what's your thought? Rồi, nó sẽ bằng với What's your comment on this? Right, some other phrases you might need to know. Yeah, what's your thought? Rồi, what's your idea? Ý kiến của bạn là gì? What's your thought? Rồi, à, cái suy nghĩ của bạn là gì? Và à, bạn có nhận xét gì về vấn đề này? <cười> right, ok này, nó có, nó có sẵn ở dưới luôn gì nhỉ? What are your thoughts? on all of this what are what are your thoughts on all of this nó gần tương đương với cái em vừa ghi phía trên rồi mình cũng không cần không cần ghi cái what's your thoughts làm gì nữa how do you feel about that bạn cảm thấy như thế nào về vấn đề này đây cũng là một câu hỏi xin ý kiến rồi do you have anything to say about this rồi cái này hay này chị nè rồi, mình có muốn nói điều gì mình có muốn nói điều gì về vấn đề này không do you have anything to say about this Rồi, hai cái câu tiếp theo thì nó quá đơn giản đó là What do you think và do you agree? Hai câu này quá đơn giản. Câu cuối cùng, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? That's why right, wouldn't you say? Uh, wouldn't you say nó giống như kiểu là đúng không với chị Hiền? À, cũng đúng không với đúng không với chị uh, chị Trinh? Ý là uh, sao ta? Từ từ để em kiếm một cái ví dụ. Uh, Tức là người ta sẽ người ta sẽ mở đầu bằng cái câu would you say sau đó là thêm một cái ý kiến vào cái ý kiến quan điểm của, của người ta vào rồi sau đó là uh, sau đó là kết thúc ví dụ như là uh, would you say technology is bad for human ừ. em sẽ lấy ví dụ như sau ha would you say technology technology is bad for human Wouldn't you say technology is bad for human? Khi mà em sử dụng câu này thì em đang muốn à uh, được muốn xin chị ý kiến về cái về cái các cái nhận định là technology là uh, không tốt không tốt cho con người. Mm. Oh, hoặc là em có thể đổi ngược lại là technology is bad for human. Wouldn't you say? Mm. À, mình, em có thể chia ra là em đổi ngược được. Rồi wouldn't you say technology is bad for human? Cái cách hỏi này nó uh, phù hợp với văn nói hơn. This way of asking is more suitable for spoken language. Mm. Right. Okay, we're done? Yep. Okay, thank you. Right. Rồi mình đã có cái cách hỏi ý kiến, cách đưa ra ý kiến. Vậy thì mình cũng sẽ phải có những cái cụm câu mà mình dùng để tán thành đồng ý với ý kiến của người khác nữa khi người ta đã đưa ra ý kiến của họ rồi đúng không ạ? Rồi, cái đơn giản nhất đó là I agree with you, tôi đồng ý với bạn, đó là cái đơn giản nhất. Còn thêm cái 100% nó chỉ nhấn mạnh thêm là tôi hoàn toàn đồng ý 100%, thấy chưa? Rồi. Ok, cái câu thứ hai nó rất là hay xài trong văn viết và văn nói này chị nè. I couldn't agree with you more. Rồi không thể đồng ý hơn được nữa Tức là đã đồng ý 100% rồi Thì không thể nào mà đồng ý khoảng 110% được nữa I ừ. couldn't agree with you more Rồi Rồi 
Vậy thì khi mà gặp cái câu này mình đừng có giật là tôi không thể đồng ý hơn nữa mà mình nên giật thà giật ngược nó một chút xíu là tôi đồng ý hoàn tôi hoàn toàn đồng ý nha chị nha. Hey, this sounds, that sounds better. Rồi, mm. tiếp theo, that's so true and that's for sure. That's so true, that's for sure. Rồi, that's so true, that's for sure thì thực ra chỉ là cái câu mình chêm vào thay cho cái lời nhận xét là đồng ý của mình thôi. Đúng không ạ? Mm. Thay vì mình nói là I agree with I agree thì mình có thể nói là oh that's so true cũng tỏ ra một chút gì đó gọi là mình đồng ý với ý kiến của người ta rồi. Đây, câu hai câu tiếp theo sử dụng trạng từ absolutely có nghĩa là hoàn toàn. You are absolutely right hoặc là absolutely thôi. Ừ. Rồi, ví dụ như chị nói là oh um, I think that uh, I think that technology is bad for human. Chị nói câu đó xong thì em sẽ bảo là you are absolutely right bạn hoàn toàn đúng rồi đó. Rồi, ừ. hoặc là em nhìn nó đơn giản hơn. Oh, absolutely, chắc chắn rồi. Ừ. Tiếp, đó là exactly. Rồi, exactly how I feel. Hoặc là mình có thể kết thúc cụt lộn bằng một chữ exactly thôi cũng được. Rồi, ừ. cái cách exactly này, cái cách exactly và cả absolutely này chỉ phù hợp trong văn nói thôi nhé chị nhé. Nếu mà sử dụng trong văn viết thì không thể nào mà chấm câu ngay đây được. Ừ. Rồi, that's, that's exactly how I feel. Rồi, chính xác là như vậy. Tôi cũng cảm thấy chính xác như vậy. Rồi, và cái cái uh, câu tiếp theo rất ít khi gặp nhưng mà nó cũng là một cái câu rất hay. I have to side with you, with she, or I have to side with you, with her, with him, with them on this one. Rồi, tôi phải đứng về phía ai đó về vấn đề này. Nha, về vấn đề này tôi xin phép được đứng về phía ai đó. Right. For example, we're discussing about a problem and our group has uh, four or five people. Right. So when when we discuss about the problem of technology and I want and there are two two ideas that go against each other. Có hai cái luồng ý kiến trái chiều nhau. Thì em sẽ bảo là, oh, I have to start with A on this one. Em sẽ phải đồng ý với bạn A về vấn đề này chứ không phải đồng ý với ý kiến của bạn B. Bởi vì hai ý kiến bạn này đang trái ngược nhau và có một cái em không đồng tình. Mm, okay. Rồi, tiếp No doubt about it Cái chữ này mình đọc là doubt Không phải là doubt Chị nhá, Doubt thôi Đạp âm B bị câm Doubt Doubt Đúng rồi, no doubt about it No doubt about it That's right, no doubt about it Không còn nghi ngờ gì nữa That means you all, uh, you absolutely believe What people say is true Yes Okay Rồi, mình có thắc mắc gì về cái cụm này không nhỉ chị nhỉ? I love teacher No, thank you. Right, okay. Disagree. Giờ mình đến cái phần mà dễ gây tranh cãi nhất đó là khi mà nói ra những cái cụm câu mình tỏ ý là không tán thành với ý kiến của ai đó. Rồi, ừ. câu này mình rất hay gặp. I don't think so. Rồi, tôi không nghĩ như vậy một câu vực cực kỳ lịch sự, cực kỳ lịch sự. Rồi, no way, không đời nào. No way, không đời nào. Câu này thì chỉ nên xài với các uh, những người mà của như mình có, có mối quan hệ của như là thân thiết hoặc ngang hàng. Nếu như mình sử dụng với cấp trên thì sẽ không phù hợp. You cannot use no way to talk to your boss or someone who is higher position than you. Yeah. Right. Next one. I'm afraid I disagree. Tôi e là tôi phải. Uh, tôi tôi tệ. Tôi e là tôi phải không tán thành với cậu. Ừ. Rồi, tôi e là tôi không có cùng ý kiến với cậu I am afraid that I disagree Rồi, ừ. and I totally disagree Cái I'm afraid I disagree này nó đang lịch sự rất là tử tế Còn I totally disagree nó cực kỳ mạnh mẽ luôn chị Tức là khi ừ. mà mình uh, hoàn toàn 100% không đồng ý với cái nào đó Hãy sử dụng câu I totally disagree, ừ. I totally disagree. Rồi, I I beg to differ. Câu này mình ít gặp nhưng mà trong văn nói và văn viết mình vẫn hay thấy I beg to differ. Rồi, giống uh, như là tôi xin có ý kiến khác đó. Tôi xin phép có ý kiến khác. <cười> Rồi, differ ở đây là differ ở đây là động từ động từ của chữ different đó chị động từ của chữ different để nói là mình xin mình xin phép được có một ý kiến khác nêu một ý kiến khác hoặc là xin phép làm rõ vấn đề <cười> rồi I beg to differ câu này mình nên nhớ tại vì nó rất là hay rồi next I'd say the exact opposite I'd say the exact opposite rồi mình có chữ exact opposite là điều đối lập hoàn toàn đúng không ạ vậy thì mình sẽ nói là I would say tức là tôi 
có ý kiến đối lập hoàn toàn ừ. hoặc là tôi nghĩ là nó hoàn toàn ngược lại rồi tôi nghĩ nó hoàn toàn ngược lại I'd say the exact opposite rồi cái cái câu tiếp theo là một cái uh, cái câu mà mình hay sử dụng trong tiếng Việt luôn á trong tiếng Việt ví dụ như là người ta hỏi là mình có đồng ý với quan điểm này không mà mình kiểu uh, phân vân 50 50 mà kiểu như là hơi nghiêng về cái ý kiến không đồng ý một chút xíu á thì mình sẽ hay nói là chữ không hẳn đúng không chị nhỉ ừ. thì không hẳn nó chính là not necessarily Not, not necessarily. That's right. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Không hẳn, không hẳn. Rồi tiếp theo, that's not always true. Rồi mình đọc mình hiểu câu này thì mình cũng biết nó nói gì rồi ha. That's not always true. Điều này không phải hoàn toàn chữ chính xác. Điều này không hoàn toàn chính xác. That's not always true. Rồi. Câu đó nó đang bằng với câu tiếp theo luôn nè chị nhỉ. That's not always the case. Điều này không hoàn toàn đúng. Yeah. Rồi, và câu cuối cùng, cách trả lời uh, khá là uh, nói chung là khá là cơ bản một chút xíu đó là no I'm not sure about that không tôi không chắc về điều đó lắm. Cái này là level thấp hơi cơ bản một chút xíu. Còn mấy cái ở trên là những cái mà mình chỉ gặp trong hội thoại hàng ngày hoặc là trong văn viết thôi. Yeah. <cười> Đấy chưa? Rồi mình có thắc mắc gì về những cái câu này không nhỉ? Nào, no. ok. Right, so now we do some exercises here. We do some exercises here. Right, match the topics on the left with the opinions on the right. Rồi mình sẽ nối cái uh, chủ đề ở phía bên trái với cái ý kiến có thể liên quan đến uh, chủ đề đó. À, cột bên phải như chị nhà ví dụ như là ta đã làm cho mình rồi smoking là chủ đề vậy đáp án C sẽ là ý kiến it's bad for your health and the health of everyone around you đó đó là ví dụ right religions do you know the word religions yes okay so uh, what is the uh, what should be the opinions for religions uh, I'm trying to Religion, I think D. Okay, let's see. You chose D and it's the correct answer. They are teaching. Roman để ý ở đây là religion này nó sẽ có nó sẽ có dấu S đúng không ạ? Chữ S đúng không ạ? À? Là số nhiều. Vậy thì D đây là của họ là chắc chắn là của số nhiều rồi phải của một tâm từ số nhiều đúng không ạ? Rồi vậy thì những những cái bài giảng đạo đức của họ là những cái bài giảng đạo đức của của các tôn giáo thì sao? À, gọi như xây dựng nên cái sự hiểu biết à, gọi như là sự hiểu biết cao hơn cao cấp hơn giữa người với người gọi sự biết sâu xa hơn gọi là những greater cao cấp nghe ghê quá rồi tức là cái những cái bài giảng đạo đức của tôn giáo thì xây dựng nên cái sự hiểu biết uh, sâu xa hơn giữa người với người okay so this is this is what uh, religion is about okay uh, so what should be the opinions for household pets I think it's B it's B They are dirty, annoying, and should be banned from apartment buildings. Right. This is a very negative comment, a very negative opinion. And I think that is not your opinion, right? Yeah. Okay, because you said you wanted a dog. I, I remember that. Yeah. Right. And finally, the Olympic Games. What should be the opinions for this? It's A. That's right. They are a great way for people to develop pride in their country. Một cách rất là hữu hiệu để cho... À, mọi người cùng nâng cao cái lòng tự tôn về dân tộc của mình. Right. Okay. A. Very good. Now, do you need to explain anything else? No. It's quite easy for you. Right. Okay. So now it is your turn to give opinions about each picture. Right. Children bullying. So what is your opinion about this? <coughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's helpful. <laughs> it's helpful for uh, um, for children play together and uh, 
learn something together by um, bullying, I think so. <laughs> okay, so this is the first time I've ever heard uh, some, <laughs> someone saying that it's helpful for children to learn by bullying. Okay, so what, what, what do you think bullying is? Oh, back neck, right? Okay, that's right. Okay. Oh, you, you think it's helpful for children to play together and learn something by together by bullying? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I have um, a problem with my childhood. So, <laughs> so okay. Oh, okay. So, so have so have you ever been bullied by anyone? Oh, many times. <laughs> oh, many times. And now you now you're thinking very positively about bullying. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what what have you learned from being bullied by uh, by some of your some of your friends? Like uh, how to say because I I was I was too girly and some of the girl in the school don't like my style and my hairstyle <laughs> like the way I dress up they they just don't like they feel I'm too girly and they it just stopped me from the 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 get of the. School. Uh. Oh, and they say, why you dress up like this? Why you tie your hair like this? Then, then, then yeah, that's the way I am. Um, I adjust myself, and I know that oh, I cannot be too different from them. I must, oh uh, uh, yeah, no, like, don't too much. And for many many things, like I, I always uh, react like very. I always react too much on something, and I know that. Uh, chance for me to adjust myself to be normal uh, okay right so you mean that you should not stand out too much không nên quá nổi bật too much yeah. là quá stand out là nổi bật oh you should not stand out too much um okay, wow this is this is the first time i i've heard an opinion like this i i totally understand your feeling right it's good it's good that you're looking at bullying in a different view than everyone i think it's special uh, for me i view bullying uh the same as everyone else in the way that is the same as everyone else because uh for me bullying is not good because i've been bullied before oh. yeah everybody has been bullied at least once yeah. uh, i mean i mean you know you know that when you were young you had to become uh, the teacher's pet, right? There, there will be a there, there would be a time where you uh would become the teacher's pet. Teacher pet, what's what does it mean? The teacher's pet, meaning that you are the class monitor, la lớp trưởng, la thú cưng của thầy cô, right? So you have you have to follow the teacher. You have to follow the order of the teacher. You have to do what the teacher said. And yes, so that was me. I was the teacher's pet. That that's what they called me. And uh, they they hated me for that, so they uh they tried to separate me with everyone else in the class. Yeah, they mm -hmm. would try to isolate me, isolate, go oh, up. And they tried they tried to isolate me, and yeah, they they succeed they succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> so then I then from from then on I had a very uh, negative opinion towards bullying, uh, yeah. like uh i i didn't i didn't try to i didn't try to be normal well yes i tried to be normal when i grew up a little uh, a little longer like when i was in uh, high school i tried to be normal but when i was in secondary school when i was appointed as the class monitor the teacher's pet uh i didn't try to be normal because i view that i i think that i thought that being a teacher's pet is my duty right i had to obey the teacher so i try not to be normal yes i know <laughs> okay you know that feeling right okay so this is this is very special <laughs> hey can you say it again what do you think about children bullying i think it's helpful for children sorry i think it's helpful for children one more time i think it's helpful for children to play together and learn something together by by being bullying or uh, by bullying if you buy if you mean by bullying is that you go bully the others but being bullied is like the others bully you so i think it's by being bullied okay being by, bullied by bully by by being bullied is it okay right oh yeah so that that should not mean learn something together right just learn something uh, i think it's helpful for children to play together and learn something by being bullied <laughs> yeah. right okay you can explain a little bit further why do you think so right 
you can explain a little bit further why because because children because children uh, how do you say um uh like learn how to accept themselves and uh, try to uh try to become normal around uh, their, their classmate right to try to learn to get along well with their classmates i think like uh like in my uh... In my point of view, I think uh, like um, it's too normal. I be, I from that day I become too normal, and I think it's is a wrong, <laughs> a wrong decisions. Is it decision? Yeah. So um, I think uh, how you did is is yeah um, like what you said just now. You you just don't care about what what others did to you or, or think about you, you just be yourself. I think that's, that's a good thing to do because uh, uh, we have right to be ourselves. And uh, mm -hmm. no matter is how different we are, we just happy and be ourselves. <laughs> I think that's a good thing to do. Um, not as, um, I think my opinion is a bit uh, mm -hmm. a weakness. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, your 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 opinion is quite. Uh, it, now your opinion shows that you were weak. You were weak at yeah. time. But what can you do? You were a child. You cannot do anything, right? Uh, right. So being a child, like uh, you cannot do much when be when being bullied. So yeah, so that's that's the least you can do. Try to change yourself. But uh, did you regret ch changing yourself, adjust adjusting yourself because you were bullied? sometimes but i still feel uh, grateful because uh, from from those uh, things happen to me i become like uh, um, try to understand uh, how people think about me better so from there i um i uh, i feel i i was become more understanding person like uh, try to think that uh, how how those people think and from there I I just like to um, I don't know I feel like uh, many people when when I growing up many people like me because they they say wow Kim you're so understanding ah uh, okay yeah <laughs> before from there I know that oh because I scared people don't like me so I try to do something that oh, make people uh, like me. okay right Okay, so you can uh, you can change your sentence that uh you can change your sentence uh from what from the thing that happened to me uh, into thanks to those incident nhờ và những cái sự kiện đó. Thing to those incident incident rồi nhờ vào những cái sự cố đó đúng không ạ? À? Thanks yeah. to those incidents, I could become the person that I am today. Yeah. Right. Thanks to those incidents, I could become the person that I am today. Right. And I am grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you say this again, Miss Kim? Okay. Yeah. Okay, a moment. Thanks to those incidents, I could become a person that I am today, and I'm grateful for that. Okay, try to speak in a more natural tone, right? And uh, uh, straighten your back, hạng lưng lên để nói tự nhiên hơn. Thanks to those incidents, I could become the person that I am today. And I'm grateful for that. Thanks for this. I actually don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> incidents. Incidents. Thanks to those incidents, I could become a person that I am today. And I'm grateful for that. Okay, that's right. Very good. Rồi nhờ có những sự cố đó thì tôi đã trở thành Khánh Ngân, tôi đã trở thành tô của ngày hôm nay và tôi rất mừng, à, gọi như là rất, rất cảm ơn vì điều đó. Right, you're grateful for that. Right. Wow. Ooh, it's nice discussing this with you. <laughs> right. So. A bit, um, how to say that? A bit um, 
mâu thuẫn because uh, from the day I marry my husband then he told me totally different thing he 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 asked me to just be myself and don't need to care about others people how they think about us yeah he he thinks he 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 taught me totally different what I was before well that's a good thing but uh it's it's difficult to change one's opinion right it's difficult yeah. to change one opinion right like men like my friends always tell me that I need to be more decisive and I need to be more Uh, more tough em cần là cứng rắn hơn but like yeah. uh, whenever whenever it comes to uh, uh, like seeing others in trouble I cannot say no I cannot say no right mm -hmm. if uh, I like they they persuade me easily oh my god <laughs> they persuade me easily remember the last time I told you about the uh, uh, in, insurance I had at a bank Yeah, mm, yeah, they they persuaded me to buy the insurance. I almost I almost buy it. I almost bought it because yeah. I didn't have enough money. I I ended up not buying it. But uh, yeah, if I had enough money at that time, I would have bought it. <laughs> okay. I cannot say no. That's my problem. I tried yeah. I tried to change, but it's very difficult. <laughs> I think it's not many people can like, say no to uh, those insurance uh, or uh, kind of sell people <laughs> because they they have the skill to to make us like. <laughs> <laughs> well well uh, yeah I I know that uh, my my friends are uh, my friends uh, I had I had a friend she's really good at speaking she's really good at communicating with people and she's really good at saying no I mean she thinks very logically right mm. she uh, she can make up her she can She can lie to those people so that she can she could get out of the bank in order not to buy insurance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she made up stories, but that is that is good. I think that is good because, uh, it helps you get out of a, of a very difficult situation. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, what is your opinion about volunteers collecting rubbish? Mm. <laughs> I uh, think it should be a good way for volunteers to uh, have some activities on some on um uh, say that những cái vấn đề hay là những cái gì nhỉ uh, in on on những cái um, oh, what is in Vietnamese Uh, uh, is it problems? Oh. Is it uh matters? Is it yeah. issues? Oh, wait, 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 how come my brain become? Uh, những những cái những cái uh, hoạt động bổ ích. Ah, uh, okay. To have some helpful activity, right? You can use, always use the word helpful. Yep. Right. Okay, I think it's a good way for volunteers to have some helpful activities, right? That can improve the environment. Is that what you think? Oh, yeah. That can improve the environment, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, can you say that again? What do you think about volunteers collecting rubbish? I think it's a good way for volunteers to have some helpful activity that can improve the environment okay good environment um so do you think do you think um what so do you think collecting rubbish is the volunteer's job or the government's job mm -hmm. uh i think collecting rubbish is um everyone jobs <laughs> right so because Government, not the one who throw the rubbish, not the only one who throw rubbish. Mm -hmm. uh, volunteers is too, they, they also not the only one who throw rubbish. So um, we have to say thanks to those volunteers that uh, they are, uh, they willing to, to do something. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. So uh, the, uh, what can we do to improve, uh, to improve this problem? 
I think it's a big topic. <laughs> uh, it's a big topic. I, 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 right. I cannot say that in a few sentences. Yeah, we have many ways to to try to improve the environment. Right. Okay. Thank you for sharing your opinions. So let's go to the next opinions here. What do you think about children using smartphone? Mm, uh, I think in this, uh, we call it technology. The 4.0 era, you mean? Uh, yeah. How can I call it? The, 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 the technological social society you mean technological society uh, technological society uh, uh, that children have to learn in in children have to learn using technology right oh, yeah. using technology Right, ok, children have to learn using technology Rồi cái using này ở đây là uh, Cũng như là sử dụng công nghệ để học Không phải là học cách sử dụng công nghệ như chị nha yeah. uh. Uh, So it's uh, It is helpful for children Know how to use smartphone But It's helpful like... for children to know how to use smartphone Ok Good. What else? Uh, but besides that, um, we must uh, we must know how to control the okay. how to say thời lượng. Uh, the time, right? Uh, yeah. Or like the amount of time, the amount of time children mm -hmm. spend on smartphone. Spend on smartphone. Good job. Right. Yes. The programs, I think. Okay, can okay. you say that again? What is your opinion on children using smartphones? I think children have to learn using technology, so it's helpful for children to know how to use smartphone. But besides that, we must know how to control amount of time children spend on smartphones. Okay, good job. Right. So I. I think that you are very positive in this in, in this has you think very positive about all the matters right yes. no I, I actually I'm, I'm actually a very negative toward this right oh. yeah because I have a um how do I say uh, I have a cousin I have one or two cousins that they are very dependent on smartphone right they're, they're still very young they're just around three or four years old. Yeah, so they cannot eat the meal properly without without watching a, a film on YouTube. And they will always ask for their parents' smartphones to play whenever they are bored. And if they cannot get the smartphone, they will cry. And that is very, uh, that, that's a very bad thing, uh, in my opinion. Yes, yeah, I, I see it's not only um, uh, the, your, your cousin problems is, all the young children now, so they 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 all like that. All yeah. my friends' children, or uh, my nephew, feel my my niece. They they all like that, and I feel that we we cannot stop it because um, uh, everyone using smartphone, even their parents, their grandparents using smartphone. What can they do? <laughs> they they learn from us. That's right. That's right. They learn from us. So. I imagine myself when being a mom is that I have to put away my smartphone and yeah. try to play with my children. Like I, yeah. I remember when I when we were young, uh, we mm -hmm. all we always have a lot of toys to play when we don't have internet, right? When we when we didn't have internet. So uh, instead of letting children play games on a smartphone, we should buy toys for them so that they can play with them. Yeah. Yeah. So but I, I but do it every with them. So. Yeah. Yeah. But but I also have to say that I agree with you that it's helpful for children to learn how to use smartphone nowadays because everybody uses smartphone and uh, the society uh, force force us to use smartphones. Yeah, they cannot step back become uh, like leftover, <laughs> <laughs> so they have to do something that others people know how to do too. That's right. To okay. Too much on that. 
That's right. So imagine uh, I have I have a very young learner. I have a very young student who's just around six or seven years old, but he had he has to learn how to use computer so that he can learn online. And uh, thanks thanks to knowing how to use computer, he now uh, play games while studying. <laughs> It is it, a very difficult thing. I cannot manage his studying and his playing time the same at the same time. It's the side effect. <laughs> yeah, it's the side effect. Right. I also don't want my children to use smartphone because I want them to stay far away from TikTok. Oh yeah. I my my husband Matthew Matthew. I asked him what do you want to uh how, um, what do you want to do in future? What do you want to become in future? And he is uh, seven years old. He said, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be uh, famous in TikTok. <laughs> and that's all his dream. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, right. So there are, there's the, an exercise here for you. I'm going to leave it here. Okay. Mình sẽ bỏ qua cái bài này tại vì nó cũng nghe thôi. Em nghĩ là mình nên tập trung vào nói nhiều hơn. Okay. Right. So uh, như hồi nãy mình cũng có nói qua là mình rất là, mình có một cái ý, ý kiến khá là lạc quan về công nghệ đúng không nhỉ? Không, mình có một ý kiến là quay về công nghệ bởi vì công nghệ à, bây giờ là mọi người đều xài ai cũng phải xài hết cho nên là không có ý kiến gì xấu cả right so this is a nice topic what are your feelings about cyberbullying what is cyberbullying so for example if you are a famous youtuber right and uh, there there will always be some haters that will send you very uh, how do I say negative text very disgusting text they tell you to go or they tell you to uh, to stop working on YouTube, like get a life or something like that. So that is cyberbullying. Uh, bullying through the internet is called cyber, cyberbullying. Yeah, I, 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 so, uh, I, I feel sad and feel bad because I, I was experienced that feeling uh, once ago. Uh, so I also experienced that once, mm -hmm. one, uh, well, a long time ago. I have, uh, it's from my best friend, so called. <laughs> uh, oh. Like, uh, I did some um, a little bit charity online uh, during the um, COVID in Singapore, and uh, uh, they uh, they say something in their Facebook that I uh, I try to be famous <laughs> in oh. Singapore. And uh, they say all the like um, oh, all the not very nice uh, thing like uh, I am um, not that good. Just mm -hmm. want to do something. Okay, so yeah. they were trying it's, to tell you that yeah. you you are you being fake. From, yeah, it's yeah. It's if it's come from a, a stranger, I I I will never care. So because I feel never mind. They don't understand me. Mm -hmm. But some someone so called my best friend before, so I feel hurt. I feel ah. well, I understand how they think about me. Uh, go through all the thing, uh, be so long together, and they still think about me like that. I mean, that's time for me to let go of those people. That's right. You need to stay away from those people. Okay, so that's called cyberbullying, meaning <laughs> that uh, people say bad things about you on the internet just because they think so, right? Just because they want to do so, they want to hurt your feelings. So that is called cyberbullying. It's really hurtful feeling. <laughs> yeah, that 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 is really hurtful. I think, right? Uh, she said some mean things about you on Facebook, right? Mean things, một để một vài điều rất là xấu tính. Mean ở đây là xấu tính. Mean đứng trước danh từ có nghĩa là xấu tính, được chưa? Rồi, they said they said very mean things about me on Facebook. Yeah, I totally understand that feeling. <laughs> but I think it's if. It's just come from a stranger. I think it's, it's nothing at all to us, right? Right. They stranger. They... <laughs> <laughs> she, she's no stranger. She's your friend. And that is that is not what a friend should do. Yeah, okay. Right. So uh, cyberbullying is a bad thing. And we should, uh, we should not do this to anyone else. And yeah. for those who are already doing this, they should stop. Because it's... <laughs> Is a real, is a really disgusting thing. Là một cái gì đó rất là em em nói thẳng luôn disgusting là khá là kinh tởm. <cười> right. What is your opinion of urban development? 
urban ở đây là thành thị development là sự phát triển sự phát triển và thành thị urban development meaning that uh, a, a long time ago you see a very a very empty land and there's no house no no big house no uh, skyscraper or something like that but now you're seeing that uh, that area is becoming more and more crowded a lot of uh, skyscrapers tall buildings are being built so that is called the urban development what is your opinion of that uh, in my opinion uh, about the urban development that is the good thing um, because uh, the society how to say devolving how to say that factoring are uh, developing Develop. it's developing right developing yeah uh, and uh, uh, people have a more chance to um, to experience many good things and uh, convenient things right uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you think that is a good thing because the society is developing day by day and people mm. have more chances to experience many good things and con many good and convenient things. Mình có thể gộp lại luôn như vậy cho dễ. Yeah. Right. Okay. Very good. Right. Um, I also think that urban development is a good thing, but we should know the limit to uh, protect mm. the environment as well because uh like you, like you can see this is this is saigon this is a picture of modern saigon mm -hmm. it's very different uh lots of tall buildings skyscrapers but less but like uh very very little trees very little trees mm -hmm. uh, very, very few trees to 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 be exact and mm -hmm. uh that is not good for the environment and if you stay in saigon you will see how how the bad environment affect uh, our health mm -hmm. yeah Right. So what is your opinion? What are your thoughts of learning online? Is it good? Is it bad? Yep, yeah, I think it's good because uh, we save a lot of uh, traveling time. Uh, we can uh, study with uh, the good teacher, even teachers stay so far away. <laughs> and, uh -huh. uh, yeah, and um, I think many, many more... Uh, there are many more good reasons, right? There are many more good reasons or advantages. Yeah, advantages. There are many other advantages, mm. right? That I cannot talk enough. <laughs> that I cannot talk mm. about. Okay. Yeah, there are many other advantages, right? Okay, so learning online has its good points and its bad points. So from my from my point of view as a teacher, uh Learning online uh, is like 7 out of 10, but 10 yeah, 7 out of 10. It's good, but it had its bad size. Like I cannot watch over my students all, all, all the time. So there are some activities. I need them to interact with me or interact with the other students in the class. But because we're studying through the screen here, it is very difficult to do so. Mm -hmm. Right. And... Uh, uh, the internet connection is also a problem, yeah. right? Like in the middle of the class, everybody just got kicked out by Zoom. And I was <laughs> like, that is not good. That is not good. We don't have enough time to uh, cover for the part that uh, they got kicked out because of Zoom. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I love and hate learning online at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I see. But I have to totally agree with you that uh, because, because thanks to learning online, I save a lot of traveling time. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, so this is a topic where where we discuss about environment, right? So, uh there are some question on the screen here. So you and I are going to choose a question and then we're going to ask each other. Đúng không? Tức là em chọn một câu hỏi xong để hỏi chị để hỏi chị sau đấy chị chọn một câu hỏi để hỏi ngược lại em, thấy chưa? Okay, okay so that we can create a conversation. Um, I'm going to ask you first. Uh, do you think pollution is a big problem nowadays? Yes, I do. Because uh, every day in the in the news, in, in the TV, modern uh, on the news, on the news, on television, on the news on t television, we have heard about um, 
the problems of pollutions. Uh, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and 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 it and it greatly affect people's health. Is that right? Yes, it greatly affect people's health. Okay. Right. Okay. It's your turn to choose a question and ask me. Did you always mean prevent? Ah, prevent meaning try to do something to stop another thing to happen. Try to stop something from happen from happening. What do you, what do you do to prevent our environment from pollution? Okay, so to prevent our environment from pollution, meaning I'm trying to stop our environment to become polluted. Right. So, uh, as 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 for me, I'm just a, a very small person. I can only uh do as much as uh not littering on the road. So I'm not littering on the road, and uh um yeah, that that's all I can do. <laughs> that's all I can do. I will try. I will. I will try to save the electricity and save the water in my household as well, because I'm. Uh, I'm only an individual. There's not much I can do. So that's all the things I can do to prevent our environment from pollution. Hmm. I that. Yeah, right. So uh, have you ever participated in any environmental event? What is participate? Participated is like take part in or join in. Oh environment event uh, once a uh, long time ago when i uh, when i was studying in the school uh, i uh, i was follow my uh, how to say my uh, the school volunteer, yeah volunteer group to uh, try to uh, pick up rustic <laughs> rubbish or trash rustic, a trash yeah in the along the sea Ah, in, uh, in Singapore, yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds very good. Mm. Right. So, uh, did you enjoy that uh, event? Mm, uh, yeah, because uh, many uh, friends and many people together, that I, I, I feel fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, choose a question and then ask me. Only two questions left. Mm, in which way do people then match our planet? There are many, many ways that people are damaging the planet. Uh, one, one, uh, one common way, one common way is that people keep littering on the street, right? They don't, they don't throw the trash into the trash can, but they just throw them on the street, throw them into uh, the river, throw them uh, under the tree. And cleaning them is a lot. Cleaning all of those trash is a lot of work. Nobody can clean all of the trash people uh, throw away every day, every year. Another thing uh, is that uh, we are wasting a lot of food. I read an article a long time ago, uh, not, not very long, it's just like one or two months ago, that uh, the, the amount of food that we don't eat and get thrown away uh, is very, very big, very, yeah. very big, and uh, it is affecting the environment. Yeah. And... That's you say again. Oh, no, I'm just saying that I, 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 still, I still ask myself sometimes that how can we uh, save the food that we don't eat and, and uh, try mm -hmm. to not make our uh, planet become worse. Mm, yes, I think it's a, a, a bad thing, a like bad habit. <laughs> very, yeah. A very bad habit. That is why my family uh, is always saying that, oh, we we need to eat everything on the table and we need to have uh, some animals like chicken or dog to, to solve the problems for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so last question. Do you think that the environmental situation will improve in the nearest future? I hope so, because I have heard that uh, many, um, many electric cars will, um, will uh, uh, how to say? Will be distributed. À, đúng không? Will be distributed. Will tức là be sẽ được uh, distributed, sẽ được là sẽ được là phân phối. Distributed. Uh, yeah. And uh, many kind of uh, soul, uh, năng lượng mặt trời. Uh, solar power. Uh, solar power is... Uh, uh, or, like, yeah. or like solar panel. Solar panel là cái tấm pin mặt trời. Solar panel là tấm pin mặt trời. Còn solar power là năng lượng mặt trời. Yeah, that's... Um, uh, how to say? Um, 
increasing distribute. Ah, uh, you mean that uh, uh, more solar panels, right, are being installed. Right. Install. more solar panels are being installed. Installed đây là được lắp đặt đúng không? Nhiều cái tấm pin mặt trời được lắp đặt hơn. Right. And be, uh, and for uh, and thanks to using solar solar power, we can save the energy. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, this topic is very difficult for you to express your own ideas. So <laughs> I, I understand your I understand your struggle. Yeah, because now normally I never really uh, talk about those this kind of thing. I always uh every day I just talk to my husband most to my husband and he he mostly never correct my English. Uh. He just as long as he understand what I am saying, so he don't need to correct it. Sometimes many times I say it's wrong. Like yesterday I uh, went to the supermarket with him and I say something like is it they don't have or is it finished i i want to ask that because he want to buy something and uh, i say eh, in supermarket have that thing and he say and he asked the people in chinese and they they answer him then they say no more or what then i say uh, uh so they say they never sell at all or they they finish then he uh. say Finish. I say he he want to say that it's so out. Ah, okay. Finish is the wrong words, but he <laughs> to follow my wrong words and then. Oh, <laughs> see, see, see. I I already told you before that as long as the other person understand you, is is okay to make a uh, make a grammatical mistakes when speaking. No, I don't think it's a good thing. So I I I just call him yesterday. I say you must correct my English. You cannot just. Follow the wrong way I say to make right. me understand back. Okay, you you should say you should say that you 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 should correct my mistake, not ignore it. Okay, ignore. Mình có biết chữ ignore đúng không ạ? Đó là bỏ làm ngơ, right? You should correct my mistakes, not ignore them. Yeah. Uh, ignore là bỏ qua đó, bỏ qua. Okay. Yeah. You should you should correct my mistakes, not ignore them. Uh, yeah. If you say if you say that to him, he will he will understand and he will try to correct your mistakes in the future. Yeah. Right. Right. No problem. Okay. So I think our lesson should end here because we don't have enough time anymore. We will continue the lesson tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so tomorrow we will study another lesson and then on uh, Wednesday we will do the test. Thank you, teacher. Can bye you bye. Let me send the DB. Uh, the, the the PowerPoint. Yes, of course, I will send it to you. Right, I will send it to you. today. We we'll study day twenty nine. Right, I will send you day twenty nine, day thirty, and then thirty one. Uh, all the same time. Oh, okay. How okay. about the last the last lesson? This I get it. The lesson. The, oh yeah the, yeah I I haven't I haven't sent it to you. I will send it right now. Okay. Thank, thank you so much for reminding me. Bye bye. bye.